Hey guys, today I'm doing a short video on the Insta360 GO 2 camera. I have a couple of previous videos on my channel where I've used this camera mounted on my motorcycle, both on the rear of the motorcycle, on an extension rod, and as a helmet mounted camera. Uh, since I started using this camera, I experienced a problem with the camera shutting off uh, intermittently and unexpectedly, and uh, much quicker than I would have expected. Uh, that's very disappointing when you've taken uh, the effort to uh, set up some shots to film a video and then when you're complete and you go to access the video you find that the camera stops along the way. I was initially kind of uh, baffled about that until I did some research and some tests and I determined that the problem, the root cause of that problem in this little camera right here, which is great form factor, it's a uh, very lightweight uh, it's a capable camera, but it has a flaw, and that flaw is pretty well known. There's a lot of people out there online who are having the same problem that I experienced with this camera. And since it shuts off uh, without notice, intermittently, uh, it's of no use to me. I am going to pursue a fix, a solution to that, which I'll share the uh, results of that, whether it uh, works or it doesn't work. I would like to resurrect the reliability of this camera so that I could use it. There's a lot of uh, great things I could do with this in my videos, but as, as of right now, uh, I have discontinued using this. Uh, I'll be uh, showing some, uh, some uh, uh, film, some video, side-by-side -side comparisons as far as the quality of the video between this camera and the DJI Osmo Action Camera. Again, it's not my intention to do a comprehensive or complete review of the Insta360 Go 2 camera. There are a lot of those out there. Uh, the purpose of this video is to highlight this uh, overheating flaw that I'm dealing with. And it, not until I shot uh, these two clips of uh, the two cameras side by side to show the comparison that I was aware of how much more vivid the colors are on the Insta360 Go. And it really is a shame that this overheating problem exists and it makes me more determined to come up with a solution. What this camera is really good at is functioning as a point of view camera. Because of its light weight, I had this mounted on a little magnetic base on this clamp truck that I'm operating at work. And because this video and all of the test videos that I shot early on were short, I did not experience this unexpected shutting off problem until quite a bit later. A little over a year ago before I purchased this camera I had done some research I had read some reviews I was aware that the record time was 30 minutes uh, and that was suitable for what I intended to do with the camera the projects that I had in mind what I soon found out was that the record time uh, was about half of that and when I did some further research and saw people reporting the same issue it was reported as a battery life issue. Well, it turns out it's not a battery life issue. The reason that it cuts off early is that the camera is overheating. As you can see from this graph in the curve, uh, it heats up quickly from ambient temperature up to 165 degrees, at which point the record light will start flashing rapidly green, and then within a minute it will cut off. Well, I can't recommend this product. Uh, I do recommend if you're considering purchasing this that you go online and look at reviews in detail. I always pay attention to the number of one-star reviews, not the average review score, but the number of one-star reviews, and pay attention to the feedback and the details in those reviews. It's also worthwhile to sort by the most recent reviews first, and the details that are included in those reviews are always valuable. If you've got any questions or comments, I welcome those. And thanks for watching this video.